how to add domains using Plask on DigitalOcean and how to manage multiple websites on DigitalOcean using Plask. These are the two things we'll discuss in this video. So far we have installed Plask using DigitalOcean single click application and now we have this screen that says you can add domains. So you can add a number of domains to your DigitalOcean droplet and as long as you have the space and bandwidth available with you to host those set of portals. But when it comes to Plask you certainly can't go ahead and add a number of domains without a license. So if you want to add multiple domains you have to see the license and see what all are the benefits you can avail out of it in the current license we are limited to only three domains and we if, if at all you want to add multiple domains or want to have subscription management or account management for that matter you have to either offer web pro or the web host now when you are in web pro they will give you 30 domains which you can utilize so basically 30 clients portal that you can upload uh, using plask but uh, if you're going for web host you have the feasibility to upload unlimited domains now this is restricted only on Plask. but if you are using the cli version which we discussed in our other playlist you don't have this set of restrictions but let's say when we are doing it with plask we have to keep the license in consideration if you are just starting your web hosting business it's totally okay to start with three and as you grow your client you can always upgrade i'm working on more such server management videos where i'll demonstrate how we can utilize plask to do more of the activities so please subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon We'll start by adding a domain to our DigitalOcean account and for that you have to navigate to the networking section and you'll notice that it asks us to add or enter a domain name. Enter the domain name that you want to use in your Plask portal. For my case I'm using whatsappisio.in. Once you are done adding it as a domain within your DigitalOcean account you'll receive NS records. These are the ones that we'll have to add to our domain providers DNS record and match it to them so that they can be accessed or managed by DigitalOcean and not the domain service provider. For my case the domain service provider is GoDaddy and I have to navigate to the domain click on DNS so that it will take me to the DNS section where I will be able to change the existing name server to the one from DigitalOcean. Once the management portal opens up, you can scroll down to the section where it says name servers and click on change. So by default, you will see the default name servers are provided. So basically wherever you have it redirected, if you just bought the domain, you'll only see the domain provider's DNS available. All you need to do is you just click on customization and add in the domain or DNS records that you have received from DigitalOcean. You will find these name servers from the DigitalOcean domain name uh, overview page. So you have to copy the ones that are with the type NS. Copy these individual uh, name servers from DigitalOcean domain overview page and paste it in your domain uh, management portal. Now ensure that there's a dot appended to the name servers. You just delete that and click on save. And once the save operation is successful on your domain overview page, uh, you'll notice that it pushes out a message that says domain propagation can take up to 48 to 72 hours. Now usually that gets sorted within a minute but depending on the uh, domain or probably some complexities it can take. Now go back to DigitalOcean domain overview page. Here we need to add an A record. A record will have a host name at the rate and will point to Plask droplet where your Plask is installed. Click on save record and that will save it as an A record. Uh, pointing it to the Plask portal domain. On Plask, click on add domain. That will open up a domain addition page. Enter the domain name. And leave the IP address to be shared IP. Add in username and password, whichever you prefer. In case if you are generating a password, I recommend you copy it. You'll also notice there's a section which says secure with an SSL or TLS certificate that basically uses less encrypt certificate which is open source SSL certificate. You can enable that. That will add SSL to your domain. Click on OK. Now Plask will perform some internal activities to ensure the domain is configured. It will also create a subdirectory where we can add our projects specific to the domain. 
This process can take some time, but once it's done, you'll see an over or success screen stating the domain is successfully uh, created and the TLS and SSL are also assigned to your domain. You can now notice that it says the domain has been successfully created and also been secured. And you'll be able to see the list of domains that you have added in the domain listing section. If you click on the domain name, whichever you have added, you will see few other set of configurations or the options that are available. If you simply click on open in web, that will show the domain at its current stage. It will also open uh, in, in a secured fashion because we have enabled or added the SSL certificates to it. Once it loads up, you will see a default page comes with the Plask details in it. Now that's because we haven't added or uploaded any website. If you go back to the Plask panel, you will notice there's something called file manager. If you click on it, it will take you to a file manager space where you will be able to upload your websites. I'll show that in a different video. If you are with me so far, please like the video and please subscribe my channel. I am working on more such server management videos using Plask. With that, you now know how to add a domain on Plask. Now, you may also have certain cases where you have multiple clients and you want to add their domains on Plask. Basically, a single digital ocean droplet where you will be able to manage multiple websites or multiple client domains. So let's say for this case, I'm just using another domain that I have from my list. Um, so I have already used whatsappseo.in. So in this, I'll try to use whatsappseo.com and one more from the list, probably let's say flowerdecorator.in, which are available for me currently. I'm not using it anywhere else. So let's say these are the two domains that uh, I'll be using. The step is same that we followed so far. Uh, we need to go to the domain DNS and change the name server record and create a domain from the domain overview page or, or the domain listing page on DigitalOcean, link both and then redirect or use or create an A record on DigitalOcean domain overview page and point that to the Plask. So that's the basic step that you have to follow for whatever the uh, domain that you want to add. Uh, so let's say for this domain, uh, this is currently uh, not pushed to anywhere else. This is currently residing on uh, GoDaddy itself. So I'm just changing the name server to let's say the uh, DigitalOcean one. But before we can do that, we have to add this domain to our DigitalOcean domain uh, project or the uh, DigitalOcean account. So head back to DigitalOcean and uh, go to the networking section. Here you'll notice that I already have WhatsApp ACO dot in, which we used in our pre uh, previous part of this video. We'll try to add the new one that is WhatsApp ACO dot com, and uh, add the domain. Once the process is done, as in we have added it to our DigitalOcean domain listing, we'll get the NS. So uh, NS records. Now these are same on DigitalOcean so far, but that may change uh, going forward. But then again, for the time being, we're just copying it uh, from uh, DigitalOcean uh, overview page and adding the uh, ones on uh, GoDaddy portal. Now here also you just have to ensure that you remove the dot or the uh, full stop, uh, which which gets appended uh, to the name server name. Uh, Click on save once you have added all three of them and that should change the name server from GoDaddy and you'll ideally get a message that says uh, the propagation time can take up to 42, 48 to 72 hours which we discussed in previous part. Here, uh, so that's, that's basically what you get to see from them. and. So now we have the configurations on DigitalOcean, which we will try to add uh, to our Plask portal. Now head back to uh, the domain overview page and add an A record, uh, which basically has a host name at the red, basically the root and points to Plask, uh, where Plask is installed. Uh, the one that we did in our previous part. So we create a record, uh, A record and that points to our Plask portal and in Plask portal we will go to the add domain um, section we will click the add domain button from the listing page and that will open up an add domain uh, screen where we will be asked to enter the domain name and um, so here it will ask you 
whether you want to create a new workspace or probably you use an existing one uh, let's say we go ahead with the new web space and uh, leave the ip as shared shared ip and uh, add an username and password now this username and password you can't put the same one for two two domains as in two uh, uh, same identical uh, username for the two different uh, domains so you'll get an uh, so if at all there's a case you'll get an error just like I got here that says the user account already exists you have you, you need to have an unique uh, username for all the domains that you are kind of creating and uh, click on ok so this will take care of for uh, some internal um, initialization or configuration in the background phase and uh, will receive an alert or notification once the process is completed so currently it's trying to secure the domain so as we clicked on secure the domain with uh, lesson grid basically adding SSL to it which is which is a free SSL and uh, once it's done we are redirected to the domain listing page just like before with the notification stating uh, the domain has been added and uh, is still securing that basically adding or completing the SSL bits okay so the SSL bits as in configuring SSL is also sorted if we try to open the website or the domain with a, with a uh, browser will notice that uh, it's kind of secure as in it's using the SSL connection and it comes to a default page uh, which is by default given by Plask now you can definitely go ahead to the file manager or use an FTP access to upload your files now in this video we are not going to talk about that we'll do that in a different video so just like we did for whatsappasio.com I also added our separate portal flowerdecorators.in the process is same whether uh, like you can add a number of domains but as we discussed it totally depends on your license as in how many domains you can add or how many clients you can add so you have to look at that but apart from that this is the normal steps using which you can add a domain in our other set of videos to this playlist I'll talk about uh, how you can upload a website how you can use the gits or SSS access uh, from Plask plus uh, we'll also look at few other sort of important um, aspects of Plask portal as a whole so please don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel and uh, please give a like uh, to this video that will help me